first reading, Acts chapter 15 verse 1 to 6. Then some men came down from Judea and taught the brothers, Unless you have yourselves circumcised in the tradition of Moses you cannot be saved, this led to disagreement, and after Paul and Barnabas had had a long argument with these men it was decided that Paul and Barnabas and others of the church should go up to Jerusalem and discuss the question with the apostles and elders. The members of the church saw them off, and as they passed, through Phoenicia and Samaria, they told how the Gentiles had been converted. And this news was received with the greatest satisfaction by all the brothers. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and by the apostles and elders, and gave an account of all that God had done through them. But certain members of the Pharisees' party who had become believers objected, insisting that Gentiles should be circumcised and instructed to keep the law of Moses. The Apostles and Elders Met to Look into the Matter Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 122 verse 1 to 5 Song of the Sense of David, I rejoice that they said to me, Let us go to the house of Yahweh, at last our feet are standing at your gates, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, built as a city, in one united whole, there the tribes go up, the tribes of Yahweh, a sign for Israel to give thanks to the name of Yahweh, for there are set the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Gospel, John chapter 15 verse 1 to 8 I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that bears no fruit he cuts away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes to make it bear even more. You are clean already by means of the word that I have spoken to you, remain in me, as I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit all by itself, unless it remains part of the vine, neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me, with me in him, bears fruit in plenty, for cut off from me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a branch and withers, these branches are collected and thrown on the fire and are burnt. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, you may ask for whatever you please, and you will get it. It is to the glory of my Father that you should bear much fruit and be my disciples.